my god this is a lot of stuff so i did mention in one of the vlogs i wanted to bring you guys along my preparations for sophia's first birthday um she is gonna be having unicorn theme so get ready for pastel glitter unicorn overload <laughs> So um, I've gotten all of these things. I'm, I'm not even close to being done. I have two weeks left. We just basically back, got back from vacation last Wednesday and already like, I think tomorrow's, yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday and already a week has flown by. So already, I already wasted basically a week and I don't have close to all the things that I need. Luckily, as far as like food preparation, I have my mom helping me make tamales and then I have my mother-in-law making pozole so i don't have to worry about food i just have to worry about all the desserts and all the decorations and basically you know the preparation of the house as well for the party okay so i'm gonna start off with the things i got today today i went to the 99 cent store i got these so these these are the ones i just decided on uh this whole unicorn theme is a little hard when you're doing a little bit last minute i like everything to per personally coordinate but i can't make everything coordinate um with this little bit of time so i wanted you know all the unicorns to be like like that eyelash unicorn typical you know and a little bit of regular looking unicorn here and there but mostly everything to be matching the, the theme of the eyelash unicorn which i think once everything's put together it will but it is um You'll see a couple of different looking unicorns, although they're still unicorns and they're still pastel, so it fits. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I am a little bit anal about that. So I got these are basically like the four colors um, of pastels that I'm going to be working with for her birthday, um, with additions of gold and rose gold. So yeah, these are going to be her cake plates. Most pretty positive I'm going to stick to that because I already bought them. Um, and then these are like the cake napkins. Uh, got like three packs of these, I believe. Yeah. There. I'm gonna just put this in here. <clears throat> I also got these two huge metallic y looking, um, holographic looking bows for presents from obviously our families, because I always wrap the presents that come from our family. That's just thing, how things have always been here. Um, everyone's just like, you wrap it, or you go pick it, or I'll pay for it, you know. Um, so. This cake, what are they called? Cupcake stand matches the plates. So I am going to be making cupcakes. I haven't 100% decided on which one. I have two different ideas that I'm going with. And I'm, I'm going to see which one's easier and more affordable to make. Um, <clears throat> so I got this color. And I also got the purple one. They had all four of the colors of the plates. Those four colors. They had them in these cake stands. But I don't think I'm going to make that many cakes cupcakes and if i do i'm just going to refill this cake stands i don't see the need of putting up four cake um cupcake stands if you know what i mean so that'll just take up all the room of the table plus i'm making pretzel sticks and stuff like that so yeah <clears throat> i just got two. Oh, these i got last time i'm pretty sure i showed them in a christmas haul when i was doing my christmas shopping but i love this holographic looking bows too i also have one of the big ones but it's in the room <clears throat> one this size but this look so yeah i also got these glitter paper because i am going to be making hand making her goodie bags um and i need it for the unicorn horn um I, I'm, I probably, I'll probably insert once I make the goodie bags. I don't know if I'm going to get started on those tonight or I'm going to start on those tomorrow. Um, but this is also white poster board paper to outline the horn and also to outline the ears for the unicorn since the baggies are white. All right. We also, I mean, we, well, yeah, we, because me and Omar and Sophie went, got these pastel-ish looking foam board. I'm not sure if I'll need these exactly, but I'm pretty sure one project or another will come up where I'll need them. Um, and they're the colors. I don't know. I, I had an idea for it in my head, but I can't remember it now. I just, I was like, oh, you know what? These would be good. And I bought them. Also, the 99, this is an awesome, awesome find. This is also going to go in her room. It says, may all your dreams come true. It is unicorn theme. This lights up. You just put a battery in the back. It has these little tassels. I'm going to put her newborn, like, um, as soon as she was born photo here. 
And then I'm gonna put her um, 12 month photo here. So it's gonna be cute. I'm gonna put this on the cake table. I also found this like cork board thing. Oh, by the way, that one was $3.99. This one was $1.99. Um, it's also, again, unicorn matching her colors. Not sure what I'll do with this. Probably just as another decoration for the table that can also go in her room later on. Um, so, they also, I mean, they have so much unicorn stuff here at the 99 cent store. So, if you're trying to throw a party on a budget, you know, I love me some Target. But their party supplies can get pretty pricey, especially if you're hosting, like, a semi biggish party, you know, with a lot of kids. So, I also got these straws. They're paper straws. I mean, we love drinking drinks with straws, so, and they match the colors. I bought these. They were also right there at the 99 cent store, right next to all the <clears throat> the unicorn stuff. Instead of, like, those little birthday hat things, I'm going to be giving out these little unicorn, um, like, hat things. Um, I got them in purple and in pink. I got four of those. So, if you guys know what I mean by those, like, unicorn, I mean by those little hat, birthday hats. <laughs> so I got these. These are going to go in the goodie bags. I figured I'd put one or two per goodie bag. A couple more in there. They're just little poppers. I mean, they're kid friendly, so why not? Uh, we also have a lot of little boys coming, so I wanted it to make it a little bit more gender um, gender neutral <laughs> or whatever. I also got some scissors because those will come in handy. On eBay, I ordered these unicorn balloons that are way bigger than I imagined, but they are beautiful. Uh, here we go. Woo. They are humongous, and I'm going to have to go get a helium thing to fill these. But look how huge these are. I thought they were so much smaller. And I bought these three items. I purchased them with time while I was on vacation in Texas and in Mexico. And I would just look up things and things that I thought fell within the theme I would buy. These are two giant um, ones. So I can put those after decoration too. These are rose gold balloons with like, they're clear ones that have little rose gold. And then there's clear ones that have gold. So more balloons, decoration for the thing. These are water labels. These are so cute. I got them on eBay as well. Um, so basically they're like, they just stick to your water bottle. So I'm going to get like those mini water bottles for the kids and I'm going to stick these on there. This I got at the Dollar Tree in Texas. I'm not sure if we would be able to find it out here, but this is what I want to put on her when she eats her cake or eats food, whatever, on her birthday day. <clears throat> this I found at, um, H-E-B. Love me some H-E-B. I can't believe I didn't go more to look for baby um, stuff, but... You know, we couldn't pack so much stuff on the airplane. But it's basically like pin the tail on the donkey, but it's pin the horn on the unicorn. And it comes with 16 horns that pe uh, kids can try and poke. Not sure if I'm going to need more of the horns. Um, but yeah. So I'm not sure if I inserted some clips when I went to the Dulceria, Paleteria, whatever um, candy store in Mexico. In Mexico when we were in Texas. Um, I found this. They had so much of this theme that I could have, like, done it all with this theme. It's, it's unicorn, as you can see, but it's not, it's like the full-body unicorn. It's not, like, just the face with eyelash unicorn, if you guys know what I mean, like that Pinterest-y unicorn. That's the theme that I'm mostly going for, but, again, it's unicorn, so it fits. I bought these just in case I didn't have time or didn't find all the supplies to do the DIY Pinterest um, goodie bags, unicorn goodie bags. In case I didn't have those, then I would go old school and do the plasticky <laughs> unicorn baggies. Um, I mean, um, candy bags. But um, I brought them anyways, just in case I did make them or did have time to do it, so that I can give it to the kids when they we break the pinata, they can have a baggie to put their candy in. Also, while we were out there in Mexico, I got this. So it's like a giant unicorn. And basically, it comes in pieces and you just put it on a wall. So I thought I could fit that somewhere <laughs> i mean i'm gonna unicorn poop diarrhea all over this house so yeah. dollar tree again i went to get this today i got these um what is it called Flat floral foam i'm gonna use this to make the center pieces um the table table center pieces these are the goodie bags at first i was like these are kind of small but then i realized once they're open and you know i mean compared to that size these are decent size so these are the goodie bags. They're three for a dollar. So I got about enough for 18 or 21 kids. I don't remember. 
Um, I have to count all the kids. <laughs> I mean, if I need more, I'll just go to Dollar Tree and, you know, get more. Mm -hmm. um, I also got these. Again, not exactly on point. This is the unicorn theme that they offer at Dollar Tree. The other one was the unicorn theme that they offer at my United Cent store. A little bit different, but pretty much the same. They're more of a rainbowy, full body, skinny face, or whatever looking unicorn, but yeah. <laughs> Um, basically, I'm not going to use these hangy things. I just wanted them for this to put as a... Um, making like a big pom-pom looking thing out of tissue with a stick. And then I'm going to stick one of these on top. And then a one and then a photo of Sophia. Basically, that's going to be our centerpieces. I'll take you guys along as I start to make those. So, again, like I said, I was making pom-pom thingies out of tissue paper. I got a shitload of pastel tissue paper. I got one, two... Three, four, five, four, five, one, is that one? That's one. Yeah, I think four. And again, if I don't need more, I'll go back. My favorite hard candies. These are delicious. I like to have them in my diaper bag just whenever I just want a quick snack or, or like I just want a flavor in my mouth. Like, you know when you have like that nasty Volca taste? Like, these are fun. Um, again... Since I'm making the unicorn baggies myself, you need fake flowers. You basically just take this little thing off of it and then hot glue it to your thing. So again, these are the colors I got. Purple, pink, like this greenish, yellowy, pinky one. Blue and purple are the flowers. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need more flowers, but since these have so many, look, see the scent has like, I, got, I decided since the baggies are so small, like, width wise and everything i didn't want to get the huge flowers so i got these plus you get more little flowers for a dollar in the bunch see like one little bunch this could have been one flower but instead like one little bunch is you get because <clears throat> basically you get this bunch right but normally the bunches with the big flowers is just one flower so you would get like five flowers with this each little bunch has like five flowers so i get like 25 flowers per little stick you know what i mean Save your money. Quickly before my phone dies. Um, these, because my camera is dead, so I'm not using my camera to film right now. Um, I got this at Walmart. These are things I had before I left. And I thought I had, like, a huge head start. I was like, look at me getting all kinds of things. And then <laughs> vacation and, you know, all of a sudden I have a week and a half to find this now. But anyways, I got these very iridescent. They basically more pink than anything but they're iridescent table covers i'm not sure what i'll use them for exactly but i got three of them just in case i wanted them for like the main tables you know like dessert tables and stuff look here's one of that one that i told you that i had a huge one of i also got straws i think i'm gonna use these for the cake pops i'm not sure which ones if i want the iridescent one or this one or a combination of both maybe i'll use them to tell the difference between like a chocolate and a strawberry or chocolate and whatever flavor i make you know what i mean but yeah, so we got more paper straws. These ones are iridescent color, which I thought was beautiful. And of course, match the unicorn theme. Girl, I am out of breath. But yeah, that's pretty much it that I have right now. I also have both of her dresses. One she's wearing on her birthday day, which is March, March 7th, for those of you who don't know. And the other one is obviously for her unicorn party. Oh my God, the unicorn one is so beautiful i can't i got them on ebay um i get a lot of her like trendy cute clothes on ebay or sometimes aliexpress too um but this one i got on ebay and it is gorgeous oh my i just can't i love the dress i already tried it on her because i got it a size two to three because that's the smallest size it had two to two to three years but it actually fits so i was so excited i thought i was gonna have to take it to go take it to get it taken in which was going to be a whole nother thing that i had to do but yeah i am so excited i won't show you guys that yet because i want it to be surprised for the actual birthday vlog because i do plan to vlog i don't know how i'm gonna be entertaining guests i'm gonna be busy i'm gonna be you know wanting to be in the moment with my daughter but i want to capture as much as i can because i really want to remember her first birthday i mean i want to remember all her birthdays but i think this is like the ones that you go the biggest on i think like the first two years in my head i think like the first two years are the ones like you all like oh, all out you know but yeah and i don't even want to get into the emotions that i feel right now that my daughter is gonna be a year old like, just thinking of me putting a picture of 
a newborn and then putting a picture of a year old like I don't understand how a year passed by like it felt so quick yet so long I don't know <sighs> I also took a picture of her every week for her first 52 weeks of life and I don't know if I'm just going to put that on an album for people to see or if I'm just not going to print them yet but I am going to print her 12 months. I also have a banner that I got at Target a long time ago too in preparation for her birthday. Like her birthday has been on my mind for a long time and I can't believe I'm trying to plan this in a week and a half. Like I had technically two weeks but with coming back and then trying to settle in, getting groceries, getting getting the house organized, getting the room organized, getting all of Sophia's big things in her room and all those small things are everywhere. It's a tornado. That's another project I'm currently working on is getting her room together, not even decoration wise, just getting her clothes and all of her little things put away to look like a room because before she used to share the room with us. So now it's all in her own place. So it's been a mission, let me tell you. Um, yeah, and unpacking, you know, a month worth of clothes and stuff. I did that in a day, like within two days, plus washing all of that clothes because I didn't want to put half clean, half dirty clothes away. You know, I just wanted to wash it all and everything. So it took me about two days just to do that. Just so much, so much, so much has been going on. Then, like the day after we got here, we had um, his future godson's birthday party and then the next day after that we had to go to uh, the next day after that I stayed and organized our room he went to go visit his parents and then on Monday we went to go visit my aunt who's in the hospital and also his relative that's in the hospital too so yeah today's Tuesday and today I went to get these things from the store plus more groceries and stuff because we were out of everything girl we had no waters no sodas no nothing like when we first got here we had like some stuff because my brother had bought some stuff so like we had stuff for those like couple of days but <sighs> we had to go buy everything Sophia completely ran 100% out of her snacks and stuff like we bought her so many new snacks because now she's trying more things than just the rice rusks and the puffs like now she's trying like those little gummy looking things um, we got her freeze dry apples. All right, guys, look at what I have. Oh my God, I am so in love with these. So these are what my centerpieces are gonna look like. It is missing one thing. Um, stand there, hopefully. Um, right here is gonna be another stick that has a picture of Sophia. So basically, those little foam things that I had no idea what I was gonna use for. Perfect, I used it for this. I took one of these little things. This one came in a pack of four for a dollar and I just used one. And then I cut up the tissue in four pieces, four. And then I just um, got different colors of tissue and I just stuck them in there. I will show you guys right now in a little bit. I cut out a one out of the glitter things that I'm also gonna use for the goodie bags. I got a unicorn, uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of these and then as soon as I print out her pictures I'll again I'll get another stick and put the picture Honestly, on. I am so in love with these. Oh my god, and they're so easy to do. It's just a little time consuming, but overall it's really, really easy. And they look I mean, come on, they look like you paid to for someone to make these, right? Yeah, this is the yes. base. And then I use these floral I forgot what they're called, floral dry something, I don't know. It comes in a four pack at the Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, they're, they look small, but they're the perfect size for, for this size um, centerpiece. That's what the bottom looks like. See, can't even see the little full paper, so it doesn't matter what color you choose. Um, so yeah. Take your hot glue gun. Put another stick in here. And then just glue it to the center. So you're going to take these sticks. These are cake pop sticks that I got at Walmart. So I got this pastel pack of tissue paper at the Dollar Tree. It comes with four different colors, green, blue, mint green, blue, yellow, oh, five different colors, sorry, purple and pink. I cut, I lined the tissue paper so they're even and then cut them in four pieces. So these are the colors I have here. You're gonna take two pieces. I'm just gonna grab these two. You're gonna put them like diagonally on each other so the little 
four points are out. You're gonna take your stick, put it in the middle, flip your paper around like this. And then right here, you're gonna give it a twist. You do kind of get a little bit of a blister from doing so many of these, by the way. Or maybe I just put too much pressure. Then with your hot glue gun, be careful because it is pretty hot. You're going to just glue the tip like that. And then you just grab and stick. Then you just pull the stick out like that. Then just fix the little paper like so. And then you just keep doing that. Poke, 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 poke. I do all the bottom base, like three or four, I mean like two per the top part and then three in here. And yeah, we just pretty much go around. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. The weekend comes, my cycle hums. Ready to race to you. These days are on. This is pretty much what your little pom pom looks like. You do want to fix all these little edges and just bring them out so that they look more fluffy and not crinkled. But that's pretty much it for the base. For the next step, that same stick you used, you're going to go ahead and cover it in some ribbon. I mean, you can use a stick like this by itself, but I think it looks prettier with ribbon. Just put a little dollop of glue right there, spin it all the way to the <laughs> Oh, and here you go. Here's another pom-pom already made. All right, just to show you guys, these are all the little pom-poms I've made so far. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight, and I'm gonna make one more because I only bought nine of those little thingies. All right, guys, so now I am working on the goodie bags. I have been for like the last hour or so. Um, this is what they look like. This is the outcome. They do have tissue paper. I'm gonna do blue for the boys and pink and purple with, for the girls. Um, mint and blue and then, yeah, so on. So that's the one that's already done. I also have these, but I'm not putting the tissue paper. I just did one to see what it looked like. But I did a combination. This little flower is the one that's on all of them. And then some have purple, some have blue, some have pink, some have pur blue, purple. Yeah, just a combination of those four colors, three colors, three, two, three, four, four colors. Um, I'm 
already done these. I just have to do the eyes. I'm just saving the eyes for the last because I take my, my the most time doing the eyes because I want them to come out like a pretty sharp eyeliner, you know? Okay, to start off, you just take your little white bag and I've already pre-cut these, the ear, the inside of the ear and also the outline of the ear. As you can see, I hot glue these together and then put one right here and one right here. Um, I did make little stencils just to make it faster and easier um, of both sizes. Again, I also have an, in a small size for the, for the gold and then a bigger one for the white. Darling, you send me. Darling, you sent me, I know you sent me, darling, you sent me, I know you sent me, darling, you sent me, darling, you Darling, you send me, darling, you send me, darling, you send me, darling, you send me, you send me, you send me, you prep the two? Thursday girls here. It's actually her birthday today. Um, I'm gonna start filling in the goodie baggies. We got all kinds of different types of Mexican candy, some spicy, some fruity, some mm, milky, nutty. I don't know how to explain that. Some more like lechera type of candy, little fumies, little duvalines, little chip things. So yeah, I'm gonna start filling them in. We got a pinata there. We're gonna start filling that in too. Putting green and blue tissue paper for the boy baggies and pink and purple tissue paper for the girl baggies. Um, I'm also putting little unicorn booklets, some yo-yos, these little sticky hand things. Someone's playing with all the candy. Project here, as you guys can see, I got this foam one from Mexico. My mom brought it for me. Um, so I'm gonna basically do the same thing that I did for these, except um, the tissue paper, I had cut it in fours for that project. For this one, you have to cut it in fours again. So basically like sixteenths or eighths, uh, girl fractions of me. Mm -mm. But yeah, basically I cut this tissue paper in four, and now I cut that same paper again in four. So. This is what we're just gonna fill up. Happy out. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sophia Luna. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Yay! Blow it, Mama. Let's take out her droopy. She's just looking at it. Blow. Blow it, Mama. Look, look, look. Do you like it or not? Look it. No? <laughs> your feet are wiggling. You fool? Oh, did you guys hear my throat? <laughs> that was Party prep.
I have my brother here helping me with fishing line to put this backdrop together. And we got the flowers here and the eyelashes over here that we still gotta put in place. And those are twinkly lights that you see there. Looks good. Yeah, it does. I gotta fix the ears, but they're movable, so it's fine. <laughs> 